Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm for Poverty. I'm host Drip Coach. And let's jump right into it. So I'm in the process of minting my 15. That one looked like it had no pants. <laughs> my 15 bit fighters. So I had 15 um, mint cards. And now I'm minting the actual bit fighters. And we will see what I get. Gotta come up with some interesting names for these guys. Yeah, I'll probably be giving some of these away. Eyeballs. All right. That's you quite a bit and we want to look at the attributes of course once we have all these loaded now i believe um the rares or whatever had a different color around the card it looks like these cards are actually different than what we had in the test environment so they got some different backgrounds and so the, you see this change to white so um and the other ones were black. So I don't know which is which. I'm looking at this in real time with you guys, but I'm seeing more black than white. So we'll add up the attributes and see. This guy's got no pants. Look at those legs, man. Kick can't be that good. No, kick is five. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got in here. So there's only one card, I think, that had a white background. Two. Two now. So let's see what the attributes add up to. That's nine, 12 plus another six, 18. So that's still 20. And this is 20 as well. So I don't think I got any um, rares. Let's see, that's eight, 11, 12. Yes, yeah, so that's still 20. So for some odd reason, there's two with a white background, but doesn't appear to have changed anything. I remember I didn't go through the white paper again, but I remember um, ZZ talking about, I think the rares were a different color. So these two don't seem to have any additional attributes though, but they are different than the other ones. All right, so I see there are three people in the East server and probably none in India. Nope, none at all. So I'll probably try to jump in here with uh, sticks. <laughs> Both these guys need some pants, man. Uh, they got no legs. They skip. Don't skip leg ray, bro. Come on. You know better. Let's uh, let's try out sticks. <laughs> That's gonna be his name, whether he likes it or not. Lucky number. So I think this has to do with like a raffle or something like that that gets randomly done with the rat, maybe? I can't remember. All right, lucky number 57. Going through the mint process. So once you mint them using your uh, Bitfighters mint card, then you'll get these randos here and then you'll wanna select one of them, give them a name, pick their lucky number, and then take them into the arena to battle for greatness. So that's what we're gonna do once I approve this on my ledger. So gas on AVAX is always cheap. And I think ZZ and them got it even cheaper or so. And uh, the math on it, so you're betting in bits. 100 bits is a fraction of a Satoshi. So 100 bits uh, at today's price is about two cents. About 0 0.027 is the way that that works out. I'll try to bring up CoinGecko to show you what I'm talking about. So here we are on CoinGecko. Remember, all of your bets are placed in bits. Man, that's a tongue twister. Bets in bits. And uh, again, a bit is just a unit of account for a bunch of Satoshis. And Satoshis is the smallest denomination of Bitcoin. So in Bitcoin, you have 100 million Satoshis. You see that here. So one Bitcoin equals 100 million Satoshis. Well, one bit is equal to one, I'm sorry, 1 million bits is equal to one Bitcoin. So to make this make even more sense, cause I know it's a lot <laughs> to process. <laughs> I put it through a spreadsheet, make it simple. So you have Satoshis, there's a hundred million of them for one BTC. Then you have bits, there's 1 million bits in a Bitcoin. 
So basically it's just saying that 100 Satoshis is equal to one bit. I guess it's just easier for people to process and wrap their head around. So when you're betting, everything is bet in bits. So the easiest way to, I guess, run those numbers is either to make a spreadsheet like this. Once you know the price of Bitcoin, you know, anywhere from right now, 20,000, 30,000 on average. And then you're just gonna move the decimal places six places to the left to get the equivalent of bits if you didn't feel like doing that or you can just also say that um 100 bits is always going to be uh basically uh moving the decimal places five places four places one two three four yeah four places to the left so just think about it as an easier way just betting with 100 bits or anywhere in between so 100 bits is going to be basically like $2.79 at today's prices and 1,000 bits would be $27. So you're just going up 10x from there. Now, ironically, um, I made the initial video that you just saw earlier and there is nobody in the um, HQ as of right now. So I won't be jumping in to fight, but I did reach out to ZZ because um, yeah, due to one, my laptop always overheating out here and two, not being able to find a good place to get a new laptop or a laptop replacement. So I'm probably gonna have to wait till I go back home for Christmas this year. And then also the latency of being on uh, in Cambodia. Um, I'm gonna try it when there are people on and using a VPN, but when you're betting on fights and you have IP address, stuff like that, latency, that could be an issue. So I'm more looking to leverage the uh, the ability to build teams and stuff like that, the gang aspect and farming and the mining and all that other stuff. Um, so I won't probably be fighting that often, but I definitely still want to promote this game because it is phenomenal what ZZ and uh, Vader have put together. And jumping over to their Twitter, they have some additional information for what they're doing in regards to the rollout. So it says, we're cooking in the lab as usual. We said after launch would focus on player engagement and player base growth. Here's what we're doing to reward engagement from our current players. We'll be rolling out an XP and leveling system. Players will be able to redeem their level four bits. For example, if you reach level 10, you can trade that for a level one and 100 bits. Some players will be in engagement farming to flip for bits and some players will hold on to their highest level status as they grow in value. So this, I don't know exactly what the engagement part means, but this is definitely something I would be interested in because again, I don't feel like actually trying to uh, play with my laptop and fight. I have a feeling that will be a one-sided uh, victory for others. So I'm definitely interested in leveraging, using the channel, sharing information about it, stuff like that. Cause it's a really cool game. They've got a lot built around the ecosystem and that's something I'd be interested in. And they also have this, uh, the new brews out. So each partner will be listed as a flavor. I think they have now 16, let me see. Yeah, here we go. Um, forgot how many of this is, but uh, they added a bunch of new players. So basically when you select your brew, oh, that's Trader Joe emblem. Uh, EMP money is here, Sphere Finance, Drip. Uh, shout out to your box, Elephant Money. So um, you basically will select your brew flavor, brew flavor, and then the money that they're generating from those brews goes back towards supporting these tokens and assets. So that's really cool utility that anybody can just plug and play into the ecosystem. So shouts out to uh, ZZ and Vader for putting that together. And I do plan on having a AMA with him to give some more updates, but um, I just wanted to cover this real quick for you guys that you know that the game is out and live, but of course um, the bulk of people I think that are involved in this are in the US time zone. And as of course this word spreads, then there will be more people available to play and I'll jump in and see what happens um, and try to at least get a little better at it, but I'm definitely more leveraging the gang side. So if you are in the game, um, hit me up. Uh, definitely looking to build a team, build gangs and have some kind of reward system in that for sure. So, um, well, especially once the HQ opens up outside, I'm sorry, outside the HQ and you can explore the world around and there'll be the mining and all this stuff and the factory and all these different things. I will definitely be leveraging building things in, in the game to support, uh, my gang, the drip coach gang, so to speak, I actually need to come up with a cool name for that, whatever that would be. So 
drop your ideas down below and maybe i'll airdrop you a bit fighter for the best selected name something like that but um that's all i got just want to let you guys know that the game is out and you can head on over to Bitfighter's Twitter as well as your Discord and figure out what's going on in there. And I will periodically be bringing you some updates on the game and stuff like that. And then of course, reaching out to ZZ to do a follow-up on his, uh, for AMA to let you guys know what's coming down the stream. All right, that's all I got. Smash that HBO special up, brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.